Good morning from sunny and soon to be brutally hot central Portugal. I've been hiding inside working on my shelves and I'm going to be thinking of other projects inside the house so I can stay inside and stay cool. This is the second part of my kitchen shelves building video and let's just get right to it. There's a load of stuff to do. I've been hard at work building shelves, carrying on with the project. I'm excited to show you what I've done so let's just get straight into it and I'll see you at the end. Today I'll be working on a really nice big plank of pine that will be the actual shelves. I've got another few cuts to do on the on the supports and then I think that's about it really. I have to figure out a way to actually fasten the shelves onto the supports and do a few more things. So I'm going to crack on with a bunch of sanding, measure the shelves to the right size, hide from the wind, and yeah hopefully get some shelves in place today. This job really feels like it's taking forever. I've been working on it for what feels like an eternity and all I've done is that uh, fastened the parts down into the ground underneath that shelf thing. That shelf thing's not even attached yet. I suppose I've also done the lime and that was kind of a big job. I've also got the front part sort of made but I haven't really figured out how I'm attaching anything so I've got a lot of thinking to do. I feel like with this job I'm really spending a lot of time standing around and pondering stuff. So it's slow going. It's getting to the point where I want to be finished it. It's getting a little frustrating, but I'm moving on to the shelves soon. So that's like a different phase. And then I guess that's it really. Fasten everything together. I'm going to try to finish it today. It could be a long day. <laughs> it could be a long, frustrating day. So that's the frame, more or less. This will be clad with a tongue and groove. And I need to figure out how to put shelves in here somehow. And then I guess I linseed oil stuff. Please don't be brown. Mm. Also brown. I don't remember turpentine being brown, but it's all I have, so let's see what it looks like. Also, I'm using a brush with blue paint on it, so it's not exactly super professional.
So I'm not totally convinced that this is going to work. I feel like I probably should have uh, measured something instead of just tracing something, but in theory, it should be close. But this thing's been taking me a thousand years, and so tracing is fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm not worried if there's little gaps at the back of the shelf. It's never going to be seen by anybody. Um, and, you know, sometimes you just have to let go of these perfectionist ways uh, and not be a complete idiot and just get the job done. So that's what I'm doing. Fingers crossed, it's kind of okay. And then I'll repeat for the rest of the shelves. Hmm. All right, it's more or less okay. I think I can probably hammer that in there. Um, what is my plan? I don't know. So you can see it's pretty tight. I'm just gonna make replicas of this and then each one I'll uh, adjust so it fits in perfectly, or perfectly-ish. Good morning from what feels like day 40,000 of the kitchen build. This thing is taking me forever. Um, I think the job has ended up being a lot more finicky and uh, detailed maybe than I was expecting, just because of the small space and the way things have to attach to each other. And just because I'm overcomplicating everything as I always do. Um, which I weirdly enjoy, so I'm not gonna complain about that. I wasn't sure about how to attach the shelves, but I'm, I think the idea came to me as I was waking up this morning. I often find that I get ideas kind of when I'm in and out of sleep or maybe sometimes in a dream itself. Um, last night, very strangely, I dreamt about zombies. Very vivid, um, somewhat terrifying, really, I'm not gonna lie. Um, never had a zombie dream before. Vampires, sometimes. Zombies, that was my first. Uh, but the zombies didn't tell me about the shelves. It was more right as I woke up. I had an idea, so I'm just gonna get to it and I'll check in at the end of the video where hopefully I give you a tour of my brand new shelves with stuff on top of them and no zombies. Makita, I'm a big fan of the tools. I do not like this jigsaw. Um, it's sort of some weird design that's, I don't know, upgraded or modern or just different from the usual one that has a handle. I don't know why I got this one, um, but I did. And I regret it. I, I like the other style better. This one, first of all, my hands are too small to be able to reach the off and on button, which is, is a bit dangerous and really inconvenient. Whereas the other one, you can sort of hold the wood with one hand and then do the jigsaw with the other hand. This one, you can't really. You have to clamp the wood down, use two hands with this. At least I do. And um, that's not always convenient. Otherwise, I really love all my tools. Having the batteries is amazing when you're working with solar. I can just charge them all up and sort of work through them, keep them charged as I go. Uh, charges the sun shines. And yeah, besides this thing, which I don't use very often because I don't really love it, um, everything else is great, which is kind of unfortunate because I know a lot of people say how much they love using jigsaws and how, um, you know, convenient they are just to bust out when you don't need a, a circular saw or whatever. Um, I would like to bust this out when I needed it, but I dislike him, so he usually sort of stays in the, the toolbox, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so, sorry man, but I should have got the other one. This, this is a tool I love. Um, I think a belt sander is probably more appropriate for the job, especially when I'm doing lots of big timbers and things for timber frames, but uh, I don't have a belt sander, so I'm using this guy, and it, it's weirdly therapeutic, um, just kind of sanding away, getting into a zone, and yeah, I quite like this little guy.
So I've been working at this all day and it feels like the only thing I've added is that piece up there. I've done a couple other things, but um, nothing of consequence and it's a little frustrating, but I'm still hopeful I can finish today. I broke it. Metabolic. That sucks. I guess I have to be more gentle. Um, oh, that's annoying. These things take a long time to make. Uh, I'm going to attempt to reuse this one for the other side, which will be more narrow, and be more gentle when I screw it in next time. So it did crack a little bit uh, above the first screw, but it looks pretty solid, so I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll hold the shelf. the shelf on top of it. I'm not going to actually fasten the shelves on at all. I'm just going to rest them on top. I'm exhausted. Um, carpentry. It's hard. It's uh, mentally tough. Not the most physically demanding thing ever, but yeah, I'm really exhausted. Um, I'm gonna screw this last piece in. No, I'm gonna screw this last piece for the day in, and then tomorrow I have more screwing to do. Always more screwing. Not a lot of screwing, just a little bit of screwing. So um, I have this piece that I'm gonna put in now, and then I have this other upright right here and I'm not gonna put this one in until I get the shelves in place because I feel like if I put this guy in I won't be able to get the shelves in um, they're kind of gonna slot in in a certain way where I can take them out if I want to for some reason I don't know but um, one never knows when you need to remove shelves um, so I just can't be bothered anymore <laughs> with it today uh, I've had some frustrating challenges with some things breaking some finicky pieces I've been making um, it has been enjoyable, but I think, you know, after eight hours of it, it's time to, to call it a day. Fingers crossed I finish tomorrow, but for now, I'm gonna get this piece in place and that'll be me for the day. Good morning from the last day of the shelf build, I hope.
yes, no, no. It definitely, definitely will be the last day of the shelf build. I don't have that much to do. Frustratingly, I have to go back inside because the thing that I screwed in yesterday has to get unscrewed because I forgot to do something. So what I'm about to do with the hammer and the nails might seem strange, but all will be revealed. Ah, damn it. <laughs> that, my friends, was a mistake right there. That is very annoying. I'm really anxious to get this done, and so I'm doing this quickly. And I shouldn't be. I should be taking my time. So I'm going to slow it down and focus more and not destroy things. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I don't really know how to fix it and I think it's probably gonna be fine. It's obviously not structural, it just doesn't look good, but I think it'll be okay. So what this craziness with the nails does is allow the lime to grip onto something. This is quite a big space, and so you want the lime to be able to kind of hang on, and so that's why I stuck the nails in. Making these things was pretty ridiculous. I'm happy I did because you can see it from the side, but for the back, I'm totally using these little brackets. Uh, you're not going to see them way faster, totally more practical. And I have lost patience with this project, so that's what's happening. So this is the terrible cut I just did with the jigsaw that I hate. I'm absolutely not going to discount user error, but I really, really don't like using that tool. Forgot the jigsaw. It's time to bring out the big guns. Well, that was anticlimactic. I set the depth wrong. So today is a day of screw ups uh, so far. So let's hope things get better from here on out. So this is my frustrated face, which to be fair, isn't very different from my regular face. I'm not really the most emotional person, so this is me frustrated. Um, I've been working really hard for hours on basically what feels like nothing. Uh, I finally got the frame in place. I've got one shelf ready to go and just let me show you what I'm doing so far. Okay, so I've screwed this frame together. It's not yet attached at the top. I've it attached it at the bottom though. I put some lime in in the corner there so that's all sealed off. And up here is some fun with clamps. Uh, two clamps kind of holding on for dear life together to try to get this whole thing to move that way. So next step is going to be put the shelf in. I've got the supports, four supports there. And I'm going to put the shelf in and then carry on with the next two shelves. And this is my current <laughs> working situation. I'd like to make lunch, so I should probably clear this away. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to sit in the hammock. I'm going to eat an ice cream. Contemplate life, relax, chill out, enjoy this beautiful weather, and then I'll be back at it this afternoon. And I'm just going to go full steam ahead, get this done, and check in close to the end, uh, hopefully with a finished shelving unit in my corner. Here's where I'm at so far. I have my giant jar of red peppers on the shelf. I have thought that perhaps the shelves could have been closer together, but I actually think it's good because I can stack stuff. It's fine. Um, so I've got one more shelf to do here, uh, and then I'll probably do some sort of weird mini shelf in the back, but that will not happen anytime soon.
I'm sawdusty, I'm sweaty, I'm gross, I'm really tired, and this is what I have to show for it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm proud of it. It's uh, shelves, they're functional, they're going to get stuff off the ground. Um, I think it looks kind of cool. I enjoyed the process, I feel like I learned a bunch of stuff. But wait, there's more. I'm going to keep this super long video rolling on for a little bit longer because... I divided the video into two parts, which meant I bought myself some extra time, which means I have a new lease on life as far as the shelves go. So I'm actually going to keep going just for a little bit longer. And the other thing I want to get done is building this wall out. I was sort of procrastinating on that one, but I might as well do it. I've got this extra energy now, and if I can cross this off my list, the wall will be ready for when the final plaster needs to go on, and I can just move on to other things. So the render with the coarse sand that I'm going to be using today has gotten a little crusty, so I'm going to add a bit of water, hopefully not too much, and give it a whiz around with the paddle drill, and it'll be good to go. I have no idea what happens to all my buckets. I never have enough, so I'm using this flower pot as a bucket right now. Um, yeah, they go missing like crazy. Uh, you can never have enough buckets if you have your own little piece of land. Trust me on that one. Okay, so I've sealed up the gap that I wanted to seal up, and I'll make it all look nice when I start working on this part. Job done! I'm really pleased with how the shelves turned out. It was a mission, but I'm happy with them, and I'm also happy to be done. Uh, I'm going to put this ceremonial jar of walnuts onto the shelf. See if it works. Moment of truth. Okay, all good. I'm calling it done. And that's a wrap on the kitchen shelf video. Though I have decided I'm gonna add a couple more shelves in. I wasn't truly happy with the spacing, so I'm still working on this thing, but I'm not gonna subject you to any more shelf. So I hope you liked what was my first building specific video. I enjoyed filming it. There are a lot of work to do. It slows everything down, but it's really interesting, I think, to go back and see the project from start to finish. So I hope you liked it as well. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching, subscribe and like and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.